Welcome to Fast Cars, Fast Girls. We are your IndyCar experience. And this week, we're actually branching out IndyCar a little bit, and we have Miss Natalie Decker with us. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> hey, thank you for joining us. Now, let's see if I can get this right. Um, fair warning, I did write it down, so I, I, I'm cheating a bit. But you're driving the number 23 Chevrolet Camaro in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, dead on tools 250 this upcoming weekend. Did I? I think I got yes, that. Yes. Yes. Awesome. That will be at Martinsville Speedway. Martinsville Speedway. Yes. Awesome. Um, and we're we're gonna talk to you about the the wrap and and to tee the wrap of your car um, with a W, not an R. Um, <laughs> the sinuses, guys. It's fun today. Um, and I love the the title "Dead on Tools" because I I think a it's like it's a Halloween weekend. Although I think it's a brand of tools, but <laughs> it, it works. It, kind of, it works, and it leads right into this race. Your car is being. Your, the wrap, uh, especially the hood, is is featuring the Mason Manson brother. Gosh darn it, I messed it up. The Manson brothers zombie massacre movie. Yes, oh, I'm so excited for it. The car is very spooky and it has like blood splatter on it. My race suit matches it, and it's so perfect because it's Halloween weekend, so it's gonna be really exciting to have that paint scheme there. And it's a new partnership, so. It's really, really exciting. That's awesome. Uh, it sounds exciting. Um, what I, I'm just curious, uh, you know, I love hearing about, you know, the background of sponsors. What what kind of prompted this partnership? This is a really cool and unique sponsorship and, and partnership. Yes. Yeah, so we have a, actually a mutual friend and his name is Todd. And he also introduced me to Red Street Records. And then now he got this all going and he just called us one day and he's like hey we got this really cool opportunity I'm at I'm like hanging out with them right now in the movie we just watched it it's a Halloween movie it's a zombie movie and you're gonna be racing Halloween weekend like do you want do you want them to be a sponsor on your car and I was like yes I'm in I'm 100% in let's do it it was so cool and it was just so fitting and so perfect that our last race of the season was gonna be Halloween weekend that's really fantastic. fun <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> oh, so are you a big Halloween person? I do love Halloween and going trick or treating and dressing up. And I've never really been a fan of scary movies, but I really like zombie movies. So, and it is a zombie movie, and I loved it. Yeah. We watched it a couple weeks ago, and it was really fun and funny, and lots of zombies. <laughs> well, that's hence the name. Though. Hence the name and and wrestling. So those of us who are a child of the like late mid to late eighties kind of grew up with wrestling. So I guess the like protagonists of the film are a cool wrestling. I don't know if they're cool. Fair warning. <laughs> I cannot watch scary movies because I just it gets me too much. But <laughs> they're like a wrestling tag team. Um, yeah. So like if you like zombies, cool. If you like wrestling, even better is what I'm picking up. Oh yes, for sure. And I'm I'm really into zombie movies and even like zombie video games. I think they're really fun. And then my boyfriend Derek's really into wrestling, so it was perfect when we watched it. <laughs> that, like that's a really good date movie then for like the two of you. You're like, let's watch the wrestling zombie movie, and it was yeah. like, perfect. <laughs> it's got something for everyone. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Well, I'll have to watch it. I do watch scary movies, so I'll have to add that to the list. Yes, you I do. Uh, wow. It's it's hard for me to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, you've watched it. Um, who, if you could kind of like think who the perfect audience maybe would be for the movie, could you describe them? You know, who? I mean, yeah. Oh, and yeah. granted, so, everybody should see it naturally, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, in a lot of interviews that we've been doing together, um, we were always just talking about how wrestling and scary movies and NASCAR, they all kind of have a lot of the same fan base. So that as well was just like such a perfect fit. And I think everybody, you know, from from liking horror movies and scary movies to wrestling 
and to NASCAR, it will just all be a perfect fit and everyone will really like it. Very cool. That's excellent. Yeah, I can see that all having a very similar fan base. And I know kind of like <laughs> and, and I know you said you're a little scared to watch scary movies and you don't like them, but this isn't one that like, like, cause I'm, I don't really like watching scary movies either. And this, this was good to watch. Like this was easy for me okay. to watch because it wasn't going to give me nightmares. <laughs> was it more along the lines of like zombie okay. land where it was a zombie movie, but it also had some pretty good comic relief. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of okay. funny scenes, um, and the worst parts that that are scary is when, you know, the zombies start eating the people that you didn't want to be eaten. <laughs> yeah, that's usually the worst part of the movies. Um, okay, all right, so it's like a horror movie, but it's not one of those, like, I'm going to be sleepless for, you know, nights, yeah. thinking like, all right, this is it, the zombies are going to get me. It's more like, I'm going to watch it, I'm going to let, okay, all right, yeah, all right, I'll yeah. watch it now. Halloween. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Just watch and it when it's all on... daylight. Oh, yeah. N- naturally. Yeah. That's um, what I yeah. did. That's, That's what I did. I watched it in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't help me that the dog I have just barks everything. So that'll be fun, I'm sure, the night of. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> She'll it's bark. On... She will. She'll bark at anything. It's on. I saw. Uh, I can watch. Like, first of all, I can watch it on iTunes, which is helpful for me um i think i also saw is it another streaming platform i want to say amazon but yes yep and then also like on my website and if you go to their website with the press release and everything about our partnership all the information will be there and you can read more about that and the characters and see everywhere it will be streaming very awesome Excellent. And for those who don't know, what is your website? Oh, yeah. So my website, thank you. My website is nataliedeckerinc.com. All right. (laughs) nataliedeckerinc.com. Sounds very official. We will, (laughs) we will, it does. Um, We'll definitely have to put the link out for like, hey, here's where you can find this cool, scary, but also funny zombie movie. Um, Pretty cool. Yes. We certainly will. Yeah, and I thought I read somewhere, this is me pretending like I don't have notes in front of me. It's fine, everyone. You know, I'm fine. Um, kind of when we mentioned, you know, this was a good partnership that you also did, like, some theater when you were younger. Yes, and that that's so true. So, yeah, also that. I, I grew <laughs> up doing dance, theater, plays. I did so many plays like Willy Wonka, but most of the plays I did, my mom, she wrote herself. Um, so that was cool. And one of my most favorite ones, I was Dolly Parton in one of the plays. And my dad was Ozzy Osbourne. And it was this themed play all around like Hollywood and all this, you know, really famous stars and red carpet. And it was just, it was so cool. So I did a lot of acting growing up and I miss it. Oh, but I had so much fun doing it. And my mom just loves everything that has to do with all of that. So she's like in heaven right now with having this new partner. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's and I was, great. And now I read, look, see, I'm going to, I'm going to help you out. I read that already they're kind of thinking about a sequel. So I don't know. I feel like. I know. I think I need to be in the sequel. I've been telling them for a few days. No! (laughs) There we go. You 100% need to be in the sequel. Wouldn't that just be the coolest thing ever? And my brother, he's a model and an actor, and he lives out in California, and he's been modeling out there for about five years, and he just started getting into acting. So if I can land a movie before him, that would just be so cool. (laughs) Best Christmas dinner ever. Yeah. yeah, we need to make this. Yeah. I, I don't know who I need to, to I'll, I'll just email everybody and be like, hey, let's make this happen. Um, <laughs> let's make this happen. Yeah, no, you absolutely like, have to okay, be in a for him. I fully support this. <laughs> Molly and I both have siblings, so we get it. I get oh, it. Yeah. You want to be like, hey, I got in here first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you, you said not only is the hood wrapped, but also the fire seat you're going to be wearing is themed as, as well for the movie? 
Yes, it is so cool. So the the whole car is like all black and there's like blood splatter, like red all over it with red skull. And then my race suit looks identical. It's all black with like red piping. And then it looks like there was just blood splattered all over my race suit. And it is just, it is so cool. And I had some pictures just posted out on Facebook and Instagram and everything yesterday. So I mean, everyone's loving it. And I I just think it's probably one of the most cool races and paint schemes I've ever had. Oh, no, that sounds like a very <laughs> cool paint scheme and fire suit. I, I, and, I love the blood yeah. spanner on there. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't be any better for like Halloween weekend, honestly. It just is way too. It's just darn it. It's so cool. <laughs> it is. I cool. know. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it is and honestly halloween is fun it's it's fun know. everybody likes to get dressed up like even adults don't act like you don't right mm-hmm. i know and i was thinking like i really wanted to be a fairy this year i don't oh know why gosh. i wanted to be a fairy that's what now I'm, gonna... I'm thinking are you gonna be a fairy i'm gonna be a fairy this year uh, <laughs> yeah, i think i really want to be a fairy so bad but then i was like but my sponsor is a zombie movie, so like, do I need to be a zombie or a wrestler? Like, I'm not sure. I don't know, but I, I think I might be a fairy. What about so a I'll, zombie maybe fairy? Maybe I can have outfit changes throughout the day. <laughs> you might First have to outfit changes. <laughs> That's not a problem. Always, always default to outfit changes, or just combine the two and be a zombie fairy, so you can wear cute fairy stuff, but just. <gasps> yeah, and you yeah. can like tear your wings a little and. Like yes. do zombie makeup with, but with glitter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with zombie makeup, but yeah, still yeah. glitter everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I I, good idea. Thank you. <laughs> Molly's really good at at thinking of creative Halloween costumes. She I love it. went I'll be a as a uh, she went as a vegetarian zombie one year. I was a vegetarian Whoa. zombie. Yes. It's very nice. So it was like, great. what did the zombie eat then? Just veggies. What? just a lot of veggies um yeah. i just like hot glued veggies to a t-shirt um that was like all ripped and dirtied um oh little... i love that that is yeah. that great <laughs> <laughs> that sometimes great. you gotta just think outside the little box <laughs> oh yeah so cool but yeah there you go zombie fairy <laughs> i know you'll have to look out for the photos hopefully i can make it happen <laughs> We will definitely you, stock you social media for that. <laughs> please do. And just so I can remember, look, I'm going to beat Abby to the punch. Your social media is linked on your website, which is natalydeckerinc.com. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. All my social handles are linked on my website. And there's daily updates on my Facebook and cool. lots of pictures and videos out on Instagram and then Twitter and YouTube. I have that as well. Very so, awesome. And so so, if people are, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I was going to say, so make sure that you connect with Natalie on the social, on all of her social media, and um, especially to look out for that zombie fairy costume. <laughs> now we know. We know before anybody else knows. So, yes, yeah. Well, you guys gave me the idea. <laughs> <laughs> what we're here for. But also to see pictures of the very cool car and yeah. fire suit that she's wearing, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> And, and if you can't watch the race um, Saturday night, you'll be able to stay in touch on all my social media platforms to see how the night went. Excellent. Very cool. That's right. That's this is the fun. last race of the season. That's that's also scary to think about. <laughs> well, it is my last NASCAR race of the season. Car race, yeah. But the following yeah. weekend, which I really haven't even mentioned on social media yet that I'm going but the following weekend after Martinsville I'll be heading to Coda in Texas to race in the Trans Am series so I do have one more race left but not in NASCAR <laughs> okay all right well that's well, very we'll, exciting that's also yeah. just as exciting I know yeah. I'm excited I, I get home from Martinsville and I have like three days and I have to get on the plane and get out to to Coda to go racing more <laughs> oh I know it's is we're getting into fall, it's a great time to go to Austin. Yes, mm-hmm. I'm so excited. And I'm excited it's a good place to wrap up the season and have one last fun race. Absolutely. Very absolutely. Cool. Very cool. 
Well, I I always like. Don't worry, we'll soak her back on the car up before we're done because we're we're smart like that kind of. Um, but I have to ask since you 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 know you drive a lot. I know that you don't only not don't only not only do um, the NASCAR Xfinity and you just mentioned the Trans Am. I think you've you've done the trucks, the NASCAR camping trucks a few times. Yep, I did that for two years leading up to this year. I never raced a full season, but I've been a part time driver in the truck series for a couple of years. And then um, I've raced super late models growing up short track my whole life pretty much. Cool. But this year I got to race one of the Midwest truck series um, back in Wisconsin. And that was just a couple of weeks ago. And we we won the heat race. It was really fun. The feature, I don't know exactly where we finished. We didn't do as well in the feature as we did in the heat race, but I miss miss short track racing. Like it was so much fun to be back in my home state and doing all of that. So hopefully next year we can do a lot more of that. But also like the road racing side of things are just mm. so much fun. Yeah. See, I think you you I might already know the answer to this question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Then so it I feel like kind of the the short track racing is like your favorite race type or, or car or I guess maybe the best way to ask is what is your favorite car to drive as far as racing Ooh, or truck, okay so I, <laughs> I I I love I love stock cars and I love racing in an oval because you know there's you're there's a lot of rubbing and a lot of pushing people out of the way but there's just something about racing I race an Audi R8 in the Trans Am series and there's just something about that car that it has it is just my most favorite race car I as soon as I sit in it I just feel so powerful and I feel like I can go out there and win any race in it like it's just it's so nice inside and it's just so beautiful <laughs> and I love it and it's so fun to drive it's not like anything I've ever driven before because there's track control and ABS and it's like a street car. I'm racing yeah. a street car and it's like so cool. So as of right now, I'd have to say the Audi R8 is at the top of my list. <laughs> hey. Sounds like it was pretty much made for you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's so cute. And the steering wheel, like, I mean, just the steering wheel alone is amazing. It has so many things on it and features and it's just crazy. <laughs> you know, I we you know we ask this question a lot, and you know, drivers kind of give answers. But I'm gonna have to say, yours was the first answer where I was like, yeah, no, she absolutely loves this car. Awesome. <laughs> I was right. Like, I Whoa, love she it. loves the car, which is perfect, right? Like, love what you do, and obviously you do. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. What a. Uh, how about favorite street car? Just driving every day, I guess is the. The way to ask that one. So I like trucks and I grew up driving trucks. My dad's always had a truck. My mom always had a truck that they drove us around in when we were kids. And my boyfriend and I share a street vehicle and it's a Chevy truck and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice Chevy plug. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, but that's, I get that. Um, no, I totally get that. I I think my favorite type of car to drive on the street is is the brand that I've been driving. It's not Chevy, so I'm not gonna say it out loud. Um, <laughs> if, I could, break me. <laughs> if we could, if I was, if it, we were able to afford another vehicle to have, I think we would pick a fun sports car like an Audi R8 to have be our second vehicle because that's how much we love the race car. Awesome. <laughs> that, that I, second street car. <laughs> I 100% support that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause I have, yeah. <laughs> so I have two cars that are like polar opposites. I have a minivan, um, because we take it to races and it can transport all of our gear and all yeah. of our stuff. And so it's very functional. And then I have a little BMW convertible. Um, oh, yes. so yeah. I highly recommend for your fun car to also make it a convertible. Ooh. Okay. I'll take, I'll write that down. Because you've got you've got your useful vehicle. You've got the truck. You can haul things with it. You can tow things with it. You know that's yep. your that's your useful vehicle. So just go all fun on the Audi. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so we didn't 
we didn't actually ask you kind of how you got introduced to racing. Oh, yes. So, well, my dad and all of his brothers, they were big racers and they raced snowmobiles, motocross, dirt cars, asphalt cars. They did a lot of cross country stuff, even jet skis. And wait, what's that? What's that singer that sings Ice Ice Baby? They even raced jet skis with him, too. Vanilla, like, they, yeah. Vanilla Ice. They vanilla raced, Ice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. They raced everything and anything. So I really grew up in a family that loved motorsports. And my dad used to own a snowmobile racetrack. He sold it a few years ago. And I grew up at that track. I loved it. It made me fall in love with racing to watch my dad work there and my mom work there and just see, you know, all the people come in and the, the love for motorsports by everybody that was at that track. Mm. I wanted to become a race car driver. I told my dad at a very young age, I think I was like five or six years old. I said, dad, I want to race in NASCAR. I don't want to race snowmobiles. I want to race. I want to race on TV like those guys. And he didn't really take me seriously. I was in dance and doing plays. I was in a lot of acting and doing all this stuff. So he was like, oh, she's just saying that because like, oh, this is just a phase. Like she'll, she'll like move on to something else. And a few years go by <laughs> and he takes me to my first go-kart race. And now I, now I understand. I'm like, I can race. Look at those oh. kids. They're my age. They're racing. I, I need to get a go-kart. So I told my dad for about two years straight, every day he took me to school. I was like, dad, please, I want a go-kart for my birthday. I want to go go-kart racing. And for my ninth birthday, he got me a purple sparkly go-kart. It's so yes. cute. We still have it. And he lettered it up to look like kind of like his snowmobile with his number. His number was 04. And I fell in love with racing. And four years later, we were racing super light models, the, one of the fastest short tracks, fastest short track cars you can race. And I remember the day that my dad and I went to go get fitted and purchase one of those cars. He took a picture of me sitting next to it. And he told me after he took that picture, he said, if you would have asked me, you know, when, when I bought you that go-kart, if we were going to be here today doing this, I would have said, no, I didn't think you were going to follow through and actually want to do it. And, but he knew right away how serious I took it and how much fun I had doing it. And what makes racing so fun is to be able to do it like with my family, to go to the track every weekend and have my parents there, my aunt there, my boyfriend and his family there, cousins there. I mean, it's just, that's what makes it so addicting and so fun. I mean, being on the racetrack and racing the car, that's definitely the best part. But to have my whole family there and just to all spend time together and enjoy something together, it's just really special. Oh, yeah. yeah. And to have all that support. And <laughs> yes, all oh, the support. That is so important. And I always tell everybody, they always ask me, like, in interviews, I always get asked, what what's advice would you give to like a little girl or or someone that you know is dreaming for something really big and I always tell them you know a support group have that you know if it's your aunt or your parents or your sibling your cousins your grandparents whoever it is a friend you need to have a support system because you can't do it alone because there's going to be days where you just feel like giving up and you need that extra help or that extra push and especially from someone that will always have your best interest. That's so important. Very, very cool and very sage advice. And uh, I I'm going to speak for Abby as ants. We say thanks for uh, thanks for showing putting some ants in the like hey. Yes. Just oh, in case. <laughs> I have an aunt that she comes to every one of my races. Everybody calls her Auntie Sue, and <laughs> she she raced too. Yeah, she used to race snowmobiles. Um, yeah. she's amazing. I wouldn't be able to do this without her. She, she's there for me for every race, every event, every interview, everything. And it's just so wonderful to have a, such a great aunt. Aww. <laughs> now I'm going to go cry in a corner for a moment or two. Cause I'm, I'm in my aunt. Too. I just visited my new, my new nephew like three days ago. So I'm like, ah, it's fine. But I'm in my oh. aunt's now. But that's okay. We we can go back to talking about blood and gore, maybe. That'll 
knock me right back. Zombies out. and <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Bring you right back to reality. Uh-huh. You're like, oh, yep, there we go, blood. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that I feel like her mom writing plays. Um, I feel like that's going to be you as a mom, Molly. Oh, no, 100%. Aww. I loved that. Yeah. About your mom. I was like, yeah. that's awesome. It's like, let me just write a play. Also, that Dolly Parton was in it. Um, uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. No, everything <laughs> else. So, I know, Molly I and got I. To sing for my the play where I was Dolly Parton, which I can't sing, so I actually didn't sing it. I lost my voice. And Hannah Montana was in it and she sang for me because I lost my voice um but I I was singing nine to five and I love it like all these girls dressed in like business outfits and like all this paperwork and all these desks and we did like a whole big scene where we're like throwing papers and singing nine to five and looks like we're working at an office it was so much fun that's so amazing. So much fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, that was such a fun time in my life. The we did Willy Wonka, and that was that was really fun too. <laughs> I was an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's great. All the Oompa Loompas were girls, and they had like yellow wigs with candy in them, and we all wore like pink corsets and green pants so we were lady oompa loompas <laughs> i love it Ooh. yeah <laughs> so cool oh that's awesome that is <laughs> awesome kudos to your mom yeah she loves it she's so good at it i wish we had time for her to still do it i would if she was doing another play i would do it in a heartbeat <laughs> yeah sounds yeah. like a pretty fun production i uh yeah. <laughs> Super cool. Oh, excellent. Well, all right. Before so we we, we gotta circle, yeah, we gotta circle back before we forget <laughs> to we talk do. about blood and guts for a minute. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll uh, say we will let you go here in a few minutes. But yes, we do want to circle back. So again, don't forget to watch the race Saturday night, where you can dead on to two fifty. Excuse you. Exactly. Yeah. I'll be driving um, the number 23. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Number 23, and it's a pretty sweet livery. So make sure to check that out, and you can see the fire suit and all that business. And, of course, you can see all the updates and um, and follow Natalie on her social media, nataliedeckerinc.com. Thank you. It's yes. Manson Brothers Zombie Massacre. Remember, it's Manson yes. Brothers Zombie Massacre. I'm going to get this right and, you know, just in time for the interview to end. But that's okay, because I keep <laughs> to call it the Mason Brothers, which is not a thing. <laughs> you got and, it up. And if anyone has time to watch the movie before Halloween. Do it. Or <laughs> on sure Halloween, even. Or on Halloween, yeah. yeah. That's it's, true. It, it feels like a good Halloween movie. That, I think so. Yeah. I think I might watch it tomorrow night after work. Do it, yes. Let me know yeah. how you like it. Oh, hundred percent. Oh, I definitely will. And we'll yeah. definitely put it put it out there, all of you people on the social media worlds. We'll link it so you can watch it as well. Everybody should watch a fun zombie movie. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. They should first watch the race, then watch the zombie movie. Exactly. I know. I was thinking. I was like, wait, tomorrow. Perfect. Saturday. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Watch, I was like, wait, I can't race. watch. Can't watch the movie tomorrow night. The race is tomorrow night. Yeah, watch my race and then watch the movie. <laughs> there we go. So now you've got plans for the whole weekend. You're welcome. We got you taken care of. <laughs> got you taken care of. Um, of course, we'll link to um, all of Natalie's stuff from our social media, which you can find at our website, www.fastcarsfastgirls.com. And don't forget, you can listen to our episodes um, anywhere that you'd like to listen to podcasts, but you can also listen directly from our website. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit the contact us button and send us an email. We'll get back to you pretty quickly, actually. So again, yeah. that website is www.fastcarsfastgirls.com. Well, Natalie, thank you again so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you thank so you. much for having me. This was so much fun. It was, it was great. We'll have to, we will have to have you on again. Yes, so. let's do it again. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Good, good luck at the race. Um, I don't know what you tell a zombie car for good luck. 
<laughs> eat another competitor, perhaps. Um, oh, yes. I don't know. Thank maybe you. just, maybe Thank just you. yell like brains. <laughs> yeah, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Bye.